Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gold's Bible. King Gamey here. This is your match reaction. Crystal Palace nil, Manchester United nil again. It's the same old Manchester United. It's the same old Manchester United. I mean, I don't know where to begin. There were some positives. There were some bad things that I have seen in this match. I mean, the first half was really good. I think Rashford, I mean, Garnacho had a couple of chances, hits the crossbar. Bruno had a chance, hits the crossbar as well. There were a lot of big chance moments for Manchester United to score in this game. And the first half was really good, I have to say. Really good. I mean, looking at the squad, I thought we were going to struggle. Looking at Kobe Mano and Erickson in the middle of the park, I thought those two uh, would struggle to keep up with Crystal Palace. But it has worked out. It did work in the first few minutes, uh, in the first half for Ten Hag. And, um, we just didn't score. We just did not score in the first half. But then the second half came and the opposition manager adjusted. When that happens, Ten Hag has to adjust as well. But instead, he just sat on his lap the whole second half. I mean, he waited until 75 minutes to make a change. He waited until 75 minutes to make a change. I just do not understand that. I mean. This is my problem. I mean, some people think that I'm I'm biased towards Ten Hag, but this is the problem I have with him. He never makes a change when it's needed. He never does. He just waits and waits and waits. And by the time he makes that change, it is too late. And that's exactly what happened in this game. The second half, they pretty much controlled uh, every United player. The whole setup was just to protect the the nil-nil the, the from Crystal Palace and they managed to do that. They managed to do that. I mean, Onana had to make some huge saves as well. Let's not forget. He had to make huge saves. So they could have won this game. Crystal Palace could have won this game as well. So it was that kind of game where you can't really say we had a full control of the match and we could have lost it. But in the end, it's one point and that is two points drop. You cannot... Uh, see it in another way i mean performance is not points performance is not points and look this is what the table looks like now i mean the likes of chelsea arsenal aston villa Manchester city liverpool all of them above us even tottenham nottingham forest is above us bro and they played one less game and that's how bad it is at Manchester united right now and i think this board has to make a decision now really if they think they are a serious club I think they need to make a decision. But in the first place, I don't even know why we've given contract extension for Eric Ten Hag. He just doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve it. And we're seeing it again. Third season in a row now. We don't see anything. We don't get results that we need. We're drawing games against Crystal Palace. I mean, two, three days ago, we scored seven. Everybody was, oh, match to United are back. Match to United are back. No, we're not back, bro. That is a Carabao Cup. This is the Premier League. And we're seeing it again. We're struggling to create enough chance, especially in the second half. I mean, the first half, we created chance. Okay, it's not just us missing chances in the first half. I mean, some big teams do miss chances, but in the end, they manage to score. And we don't. We just don't do that. So look, I'm really, really tired of this guy. And I just can't wait. I cannot wait when this guy is going to be gone. But yeah, guys, Crystal Palace nail, Manchester United nail. You're looking at the table, we are 11th. It's really, really bad. It's going really, really bad. Already we lost two games and now we've drawn one. It's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think about today's performance. Let me know if Ten Hag is the right manager in the comment section. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Wow. Peace.